guys, welcome back. I see your name is Kim Prince, and yes, <laughs> um, today we're gonna to be talking about Sofo Ajagaraja. I, mean, I don't know whether I've been able to pronounce the name well. Is it Ajagaraja? Yeah, Ajagaraja. All right, you know, he's very funny and he's out again. I'm gonna let you know the reason why I'm gonna be talking about him, but let me quickly talk about Blacko Sharif real quick. You know, Black Sharif has also responded to this particular issue. About his latest song, O Paradisi. You know, um, when this song came out, honestly, it caused a lot of what controversies, especially after this interview was granted. Seven, 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 previous, I'm between me, did Sure. Me who black shall live for now, black shall live for now, seven, you're never me chop money. Me did it. Never me dinner or say no, I'm on side just or no. A dear, I said, and I said, I'm running your own pana, and I also were your own pana. Two are running school, or you're underage. A quite best on fire by your own pana. A cranny woo, you know. Ubusi and Nibia, and now black shall live near who will see him. Say, Ubi Binia Corano, Tiuba Kabi Biatia Busiano, Ubi and whom, and now cranny woo are five years in no, and I have a catch was a cranny emperor, and none of me person many who say, A quiet crano fast, so young emperor, or mature. I just had your mimetia can the pace and your cranny woo. All right, so that said, but I believe you remember this interview. You know, this interview was granted just after. Black Sheriff released the O Paradisi song, of which he actually dedicated the song to his ex girlfriend, who is actually late. And the man who was actually talking happens to be Black Sheriff's ex girlfriend's father. And all that he was ranting about was Black Sheriff didn't want to seek permission from the family before releasing a song about their, wife, their daughter. And people were like, Yo, why? Why should Black Sheriff ask for permission before releasing a song about his ex girlfriend? But all that we expected was Black Sheriff to come out and what, say something. From that time to date, he didn't say anything. But finally, he has. conversation <laughs> Eh, easy, sir, mammy. Mr. Sibibri is a unim de interview and a co catch and say that away interview every month. See, tell me, never mind. See, 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 see. Oh, cobbler, Kunisika. What I say, it's more muy or muddy as embe affected the Emilian, Ubia and Trice will be Tia de Emilian. Ah, me me nim bari ame dia tu dia me yona ma guide ni na eko. Mashallah, ubi anya ni dia na eko. Alright, so I'm that's black o sherry for you. <laughs> Honestly, eh, the way man your man it talk eh or it speak eh, it is just hilarious. Like, hey. <laughs> but well, this is what he has to say about what this whole issue. All that he's trying to say is that he doesn't owe the family any explanation. To even think that he, he was supposed to seek permission from the family. He actually did a song for his ex-girlfriend. Not necessarily means that he was supposed to seek permission. And nobody knew that they were dating. It was only between them and their friends. That was when Black Sheriff was, was nobody. But right now, he's somebody. He's was a big artist in Ghana. And to him, you know, the man was actually chasing clouds. He really wanted uh, like Kafa. You know, he wanted to was take advantage of Black Sheriff's was shined, at least do his own thing. That's what, if you understand what Black Sheriff is saying now, that is what, what he meant. But yeah, he doesn't owe the man explanation. It's a fact. Bro, he did a song. It's nice. It's out there. It's, Charlie, it's just crazy. But like I said, it's good that he has finally was reacted to this particular issue. And yeah, I know, sir, it's going to be what it's going to be buried. Nobody's going to talk about this again and again because we are fed up, Charlie. Um, and one, no, you so you so queen. So let's talk about Sofo Ajagwaraja. Yes, you know, um, Sofo Ajagwaraja is out saying that I was a for trouble, Sofuni, or the fuck, I bless you, man. Matthias, I said, Nigeria, and he gave you a breaking cooking record 86 hours. That's the way they are to be. Missy, my baby, one week. Stop us off with me. Missy, my baby, one week solid. Non stop. Missy, my dear, and your gas will a Japan. One week. Come, let's see. 
Um, this is what so far Jagaraja is what he's saying. He said he was, he's going to cook for one week. You know, it's all about what Hilda Bassi has done. Being able to cook for four days continuous. I mean, 100 hours non-stop. Of which um, he, she has actually was set a new record in Guinness World Record. Becoming the first woman to what, cook for four hours continuous. And once so far Jagaraja heard this particular news, he's like, no, I can do this. You know, his score was Choba Sofu. So you know what I'm talking about. He's He's been cooking for his church members all the time. All the time, piano. He's been cooking for them. So all that he's saying is that he can do what Hildabasi has done, and even more. You know, Hildabasi did four days. He's saying that he, he can do what one week. <laughs> challenge, <laughs> yeah, simple challenge. But you know, let's see whether he's going to do this or not. You know, like I said, he's been cooking for his what his church members. So when it comes to food and when it comes to cooking, it's what his profession. And I, I'm rooting for him. I, I know and I believe that he can be able to, uh, to do this. He can cook for... But wait, how can he be cooking for one week? Hey, this be... This be... <laughs> okay, so uh, this is what Sofa Jagaraja is asking me to uh, tell you people. That he's going to cook for one week continuous. He's going to be part of uh, Guinness World Record. And let's wait.